Well, it's that time of year again and rent is due. Back to school outfits. A lot of people really are prideful of what they wear on the first day of school. For some people, it's like a fashion show. Like you walk in and everybody's got their best outfit on. Like if I was going back to my college this year, I can 100% guarantee you that there's gonna be one person that at least pulls some crazy ass fit out of the closet. When I was going back, I did not care what I wore back to school. Well, to an extent, of course, because I'm not pulling up in a Cheetos 3D hoodie absolutely not but I didn't wear anything crazy I wore like the most generic outfit you could think of I'm not the exact person that should be speaking on this topic but here we are all right so let's start with the backpack so I think this is an important pick because well you're stuck with that shit all year so picking a backpack it's like a draft pick once you get it you're stuck with it for the year I mean, unless you really want to get a new one. I never did, but in some scenarios, I probably should have got a new one. I just remember one year in elementary school, I picked like some ugly ass backpack. So yeah, when you're shopping for your back to school stuff, your 10 folders or whatever the hell they make you get. So when you pick a backpack, just don't pick a flashy one, bro. You don't want to flashbang the entire school. Pick one that's, you know, simple, a very sleek design. And also don't get a backpack with like a bunch of compartments and that's super hefty looking. Because a lot of the times when I pick picked a backpack. I'm like, damn, bro. I look like a nerd carrying around this big ass fucking boulder on my back. I would bring everything that I had that was school supplies. I don't know why. I couldn't just leave shit home some days. And of course, I was carrying around this big ass trapper keeper on my backpack too. So I was just doing too much. Like you shouldn't have to carry around all that stuff with you all the time. And now for the shoes. Like everybody is locked in on shoe game nowadays. So I feel like it's pretty important. Do not wear these shoes, especially beat up Air Forces. The whole point of Air Forces is the simple look. If there's dirt on it, they're creased to shit. I don't know why the hell you're wearing them. It just defeats the entire purpose. Like if they're a little bit beat up, okay. If they're like muddy as hell, they're carrying around dirt with them. Why the hell are you wearing them? I don't know. The past couple of years I went to college, I don't know how many times I saw people with beat up Air Forces. It's it's wild. It's like a record amount, either beat up Air Forces or Lightning McQueen Crocs or Shrek Crocs. Please don't wear these. So first and foremost, let's get this out of the way. Crocs are overrated. I, I had to say it. I'm sorry. In my opinion, I don't know. They kind of just look goofy. I just don't see the vision with these. These are the types of shoes I would wear in like elementary school. And especially the Shrocs. Holy hell, these are ugly. At least I could give that to the Lightning McQueen Crocs. You know, they're not ugly. But the Shrocs, bro, I don't know why the shoe has a nose, but it does. Yeezy foam runners. I'm sorry. I had to say it. They're overrated. And don't get me wrong. I'm sure they are pretty comfortable. All right. I will say that. But the design just looks goofy. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't wear this. And not only that, a lot of these shoes are super expensive too. I remember a friend of mine wanted some Lightning McQueen Crocs. And those Johns were $200. What the fuck? These Crocs are not $200 worth. I'm sorry. That's just the truth. In my opinion, I don't know. I just can't see myself wearing Crocs either. Like the overall design of Crocs. I don't know. I, I just don't like it. Like I wouldn't really wear Crocs unless I was like at the beach or something. And I 100% did have a Croc era. You know, I'm not going to sit here and lie. I don't know. I kind of just grew out of liking them. But if you wear Crocs, you do you, I guess. I I'm not going to hate. Anyways, on to the shirt. You know, I think the shirt is an important part of the outfit because just by somebody looking looking at your shirt, it's kind of like their first impression of you without talking to you, if that makes sense. That's why what you wear is important. You know, you got to make sure you're proud of what you're wearing. And of course, at home, you could probably get away with wearing some goofy ass shit or if you're around your friends. But when you enter school, it's a completely different environment. So you really got to shape up the fit. All right. So if you're going to high school, leave this goddamn creeper hoodie in the past. All right. Please don't bring it. Like I used to wear this thing and... I just felt like a cornball looking back. Not in high school, but I think I was in elementary or middle school. It was an interesting phase of my life, I will say. There's just some hoodies and shirts you gotta leave in the past. Like 3D hoodies, leave those behind. I've never seen somebody glaze Cheetos this hard to the point where they'll wear a Cheetos hoodie and the Cheeto sweatpants to match. That is just wild. Also, uh, do not wear shirts like this. Yeah, just leave that one in the closet, bro. We got the classic shit like, I pause my game to be here. And I've seen people actually wear shirts like that before. I guess he had to personally let everybody know that he had his Wii paused at home and he pulled up to school right after. It just shows the true dedication of this individual. Now, of course, when it gets colder out, you know, you're gonna have to wear hoodies. And one of the most important things I have to say, and I can't believe I have to say this, do not wear that one anime hoodie. 
just don't wear it. Please, just for everybody else's sake, do not wear that shit. On a few occasions, I've seen people wear that when I was in high school and it was just embarrassing. It was. I've never felt more secondhand embarrassment in my entire life. But now for the pants, I think it's important to start with the fact that you should never sag your pants. I don't know why people do this. I don't know what the hype is around sagging your pants. But people literally just walk around with their underwear out, bro. It's weird as hell. And don't get me started on the ATL jeans, too. I don't know how people wear jeans that are this skin tight. And honestly, if I was wearing these, I would just be waddling around, bro. And I wouldn't be able to move. Like, it would just feel so weird to walk. The Atlanta skinny jeans. I don't know how a human can walk around in these and feel comfortable. But do not wear mismatching pants either. Like, if your shirt's red, do not wear green pants, bro. Or you're gonna look like a Christmas tree. And I used to rep fits like that all the time. And I don't know, I just looked so stupid. The whole point of an outfit is that it's supposed to match. Like, if you wear a bunch of colors, like, it's just gonna look weird. If it's the middle of the winter, do not wear shorts, bro. I was that kid, all right? I'm speaking from experience. People are gonna look at you funny. And same thing if you wear, like, all these coats in the summer. Like, I don't get the hype of wearing this many coats. Now let's talk about accessories. You know, some people like to wear a watch, you know, which is cool. Some people like to wear bracelets and all that stuff. And I think that's cool, but some people pull up to school with like the weirdest accessories on. I don't get it. Like one time it wasn't even Halloween and this person pulled up in like a Harry Potter cape. Like there's a time and a place for everything. And I don't know why people pull up wearing fursuits either. You know, I personally think it's weird, but I'm not gonna hate on somebody for doing that in their free time, whatever. But it's another thing if you pull up to school wearing the suit, you're barking on all fours. That shit's just crazy to me, bro. Some people walked around with like a tail on, cat ears. It's wild. Yeah, bro, you gotta keep that shit at home, big dog. I'm not trying to see that. Thankfully, I never seen anything like that at college, but yeah, in high school, I definitely have. And now for hats, all right? Do not pull up to school wearing a goddamn fedora. I've seen people pull up with a fedora and the trench coat to match. And as a lot of you may know, wearing a trench coat to school, it's an extremely bad look. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at that. And if you're a girl, do not rep the hot Cheeto girl starter pack. I swear to God, every single classroom has one, no matter where you are. They just spawn in out of nowhere in the back of the classroom. They generally wear like those big hoop earrings and they have like super long nails. Like, wouldn't that just annoy you? And I don't know how the hell they ate hot Cheetos at seven in the morning. That was just insane to me. But this part of the outfit, all right, it makes or breaks, okay? Like, if this is not on point, you're cooked. It's not really a part of the outfit, but it's a part of the look, if that makes sense. Your haircut. And of course, you know, there's many different cuts to rock, and some of them, you should just shave that shit off, bro. Let's start with the Edgar cut. I don't know why the hell people are still rocking this in the Big 24. The Edgar haircut, is it's like that one haircut that just never goes away. No matter where I go, I just always see somebody with an Edgar cut. But this haircut, I, I just see so frequently, I'm done. I don't know what to do anymore, bro. Every public place I go, like probably I'd say like half the time I see somebody with this haircut. It's not really a haircut, it's more or less like a look. The mullet mustache combo. I don't know if this one's just me. They're all the same guy. They're clones of each other. I'm just kidding, but I'm just so cute. Curious, why does everybody have this haircut? But I guess they're trying to revive the mullet look. You know, it's not really a bad haircut, I would say. It's just so common, like way too common. I just feel like I'm going crazy. But next we have the certified lover boy haircut. Oh my God, bro, please put this one away. He lost the beef, bro. I don't know why the hell you're still rocking this. Drake is cooked, bro. There's no reason for you to still be rocking the Drake haircut. Like it kind of looks more like a McDonald's than like the end of a heart. But even pre-beef, like this haircut was goofy to begin with. I never liked it. You know, I just always thought people who got this haircut were just extreme Drake glazers. Next, we got that Justin Bieber haircut. Like it's not 2010 anymore. You gotta shave that shit off. I used to keep my hair super long and it looked like that Justin Bieber ass haircut. And it always pissed me off because my hair would just get in my face and shit. Like I couldn't even see what the fuck I was doing half the time. But yeah, man. And I know a lot of you missed the school video. It was back to school season, so I figured I'd post one. I got more different types of videos on the way. If you guys want to watch my video last year on going back to school, then click on the end screen.